the MTV Awards or the VMAs the other day and you did the thing with Alicia Keys, yeah. Empire State Human, which is the most brilliant song. Oh uh, my God, I, I loved it when you performed it and then I've just had it on repeat here. It's such a good you. song. So you, you. Yeah, you must be feeling great. I feel fantastic. You know, I just have my 11th number one album, which is ridiculous, which uh, beats Elvis. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling like the king of pop. Can I just say, my mum is the biggest Elvis fan, and when that was announced in the showbiz news just now, she was shaking her head. She was like, no, Elvis all the way. Uh, <laughs> no wonder she looked at me tough when I came in. She's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> she might have words with you yeah. when you leave. I'm not eating the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, talking of the, the VMAs and uh, all the whole Kanye West thing that's blown up, is it true that you've you had words with him? Obviously, you worked together so much, and he's a friend of yours. Did you give him advice? Yeah, of course. Uh, we did Jay Leno. Uh, I believe the next night and um, he's like my little brother you know I've, I've, I mean I pretty much introduced him like with uh, on the blue the first blueprint actually mm -hmm. and I, I mean it's it's an award show you know really so he's what, just, what he's happened just, he's just a super passionate person you know and, I, and of course it was rude because it was a moment but that's the way he really felt I mean it's really an award show and I think it's a bit blown out I mean of course it was but you rude. don't get up on stage when I mean, I mean yeah. that, that's, a, that's a big thing to get out of your seat, walk up, get there on yeah, stage, yeah, isn't it? I mean, you've got to feel... I think it, I, I said that to him as well. I think it was rude, but I don't think, you know, the way they're treating it is like on the cover of every mm -hmm, paper. Cool. He didn't kill anybody. Like, you know, no one got harmed in the... Well, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was pretty rude. It's just a dumb, dumb thing to do, really, I guess. Yeah. So what was your advice? I think he's passionate that he has to watch his passion because he's passionate. And at the end of the day, we're going to um, celebrate him for his passion more than vilify him because his passion is... But the same thing that causes him to make graduation and all these great records is the thing that causes him to step out of line sometimes. So as he grows and matures, he has to learn how to put those things, you know, he has to learn how to balance that, you know. And um, he'll learn that, you know, he'll learn that in the years to come. But, um, again, his passion is the same thing that made graduation. That passion that you saw right there, that wasn't fake. It wasn't stage. It was how he really felt. And, and it just was inappropriate. It was inappropriate at the time. It wasn't fair to, um, to, Taylor. to Taylor. It wasn't fair to her at all. But, you know. He's apologized, and I guess he's just yeah. got to kind of lie low. Yeah, let's move on. I don't think he should lay low. I think he should go on tour and have a brilliant career. I don't, you know, I, I, it's an award show. It's not... You know, he's a war. I've, in, I've interviewed him, and he's a, he was a really smart man. He, I was so impressed with the way very, he spoke. Very intelligent. And the thing you have to realize about it is he's been that passionate from his first record. He used to jump on tables. I'm trying to make the, <laughs> the first blueprint. He's jumping on the table rapping. I'm like, yo, this is not the time for that. This is Not now. <laughs> Get I'm, I'm off trying, the table. Yeah, yeah, but that was just him. And, you, ha you know, so if he had changed because of his success, then it would be something else. Then it would be a different thing. But he's always been that passionate. Okay. Uh, do you want to play a track now or should I play a song? It's up to you. Your call. Are you ready to I'm go? Ready. Look I'm at around. Look at around. Okay. And it's a great segue because Kanye West produced this song. This was on uh, the Black Album, and it's a song called Encore. We're going to play it right here in, in your, uh, what do you call this thing? Is this, uh, this is, uh, it's the den, actually. The den. Or my lounge. I guess we should call it well, the lounge the, for today. Well, it's the size of a living room. <laughs> okay, so in my <laughs> living room now, this is Jay-Z doing Encore. Unreal. I'm just going to start anywhere because we don't have any measures. In you guys just started out. Encore. Jigga man, you hurt. Joe Wiley.